And I'm sure by now, all of you are aware that Budmo are the all-in expert when it comes to spare parts. And the best point is that they have the spare parts for all vehicles available in India. So even if your car is out of production now, maybe you have a large generation model, even then they have the spare part available, they have the entire catalogue. And the best point is that uh, they have the same spare part from a host of different component makers which gives you great flexibility in the pricing overall. So check them out today, check out the app, it's available both for iOS as well as Android devices. So now beginning straight with the key fob which has been offered, it's a pretty basic key fob, no remote center locking. So these are the basic two keys which you get with the LXI variant. Coming to the technical specifications of this car, this has been offered with a 796cc or 800cc petrol engine which produces somewhat around 47 bhp of power and 69 newton meters of torque. This vehicle in specific is slightly more important and special because here you have a lot of accessories, these are genuine accessories so you can take a screenshot of these accessories if you want to get it installed in your vehicle. These are all the products which have been installed in this particular vehicle. Let's begin with the frontal fascia. So there is nothing extraordinary or anything done to add to the bling of this vehicle because as I mentioned this is an entry level vehicle. So the headlamps here are quite large in terms of dimensions. These are halogen reflector based headlamps and the indicator setup also happens to be halogen and in the center you get this plastic finished grille. A good aesthetic touch given over here, this honeycomb pattern radiator grille which somewhat adds to the appeal of the Alto 800. In terms of the tyre size, let's just move to the side profile and have a look at the tyre dimensions. So here we get 145 AT or 12 inch steel rims so these are 12 inches along with these silver wheel caps and you get seared rubber on this vehicle moving further as i mentioned this is not a very feature oriented or a feature rich vehicle so even the orvms are manually adjustable and do not feel very solid definitely but yes are quite durable for city usage so this was all about the exterior proportions from the front fascia. Let's move to the door pad now and talk about the interiors and the features which have been offered. So now in order to access the car, you get this keyhole which you can use to unlock the vehicle. And this is the conventional door pad. You get this beach plastic finish, silver accents on the door handle and a practicality utility space in which you might not be able to place bottles but this can be used as a document holder and here is the headlight leveling button and the footwell is quite constricted in terms of spaciousness and you don't get any kind of a dead pedal or anything of that sort so taller passengers may have a problem in that aspect the seat can be moved back and forth as well let us now enter the cabin of this vehicle and analyze the features and other aspects of this vehicle. So now here we are in the interiors of the Alto 800 VXI variant. I've already shown you the keys. These are very basic, nothing extraordinary done over here. So when we switch on the ignition, this is how the cabin looks. Now as I mentioned there are a lot of genuine accessories which have been installed in this vehicle. So if you're looking for a bare bone LXI variant you can ignore those but uh, these are some essential accessories which most of the buyers will get installed in their vehicle. Let's begin with the steering wheel. So this steering wheel has been wrapped with the steering cover which is again a part of the accessories. If you go for the LXI variant without accessories you will definitely not get the steering wrap. This is a brushed aluminium finish which runs across the steering wheel and this is the LXI variant as I mentioned. You also have the option of an LXI optional trim in which you get a passenger airbag as well but uh, you'll have to pay extra for that definitely. So this is the LXI variant with one only driver airbag. No steering mounted audio controls or anything of that sort have been offered and in fact the steering wheel cannot even be adjusted neither for tilt nor telescopic so this is the fixed steering wheel which you will have to bear with. In the left we get toggles for our wipers these are quite conventional and on the right we have these headlamp related controls. In terms of the instrument panel and the multi-information display there is no tachometer on offer but uh, 
you definitely have this small multi information display which displays your fuel gauge as well as your average fuel economy trip a b etc and those are your warning signs your telltale signs so all in all the multi information display also looks decent and you have the option of toggling it through those stocks over there now moving on to the center console of the vehicle now these ac vents are also quite decent in terms of design and the plastic quality is also quite decent does not feel very solid definitely but is decent and this is a spot where you can put an aftermarket clock or use this to put your coins or some knickknacks moving further down below this is an infotainment system by pioneer which is again a part of the accessory package and this is compatible with bluetooth you can audio stream your music and also connect your phone via bluetooth and attend calls this does not support any kind of apple carplay or android auto the touch response is also pretty decent nothing out of the world if you go for the alexa variant without this infotainment system you will get a plastic grill over here which you can definitely remove and install a single din music system or a double din one like this if we talk about the climate control option this is a manual climate control unit no automatic climate control has been offered and the buttons feel quite tactile so no quality issue in terms of these buttons and practicality in cubby hole spaces are also quite good i'd say in this vehicle you get a dummy socket in which you can place a 12 volt charging socket and this is a cubby space along with two cup holders and this is the remote for this pioneer audio system the gear knob here is in this black rubberized finish and if i engage the reverse gear you might be able to hear the reverse parking sensors which are now standard across all cars in the indian market as a government norm two power windows have been offered no rear power windows are a part of the feature list of this alexa trim now in terms of the glove box it is again decent it is good in terms of the space it offers no cool glove box feature definitely but your documents can be fitted over here pretty comfortably the ac vents are circular on the corners and you get again the silver accent and these silver accents do accentuate the cabin experience and these are some cavities in which you can place your idols the irvm is not even manually dimming so you'll have to just adjust it you can't dim it in any way and this is the internal dome lamp finished in halogen the sun visors are again quite bare and basic no vanity mirror or anything of that sort has been offered here so all in all this vehicle satisfies all your basic needs and requirements of traveling in a four wheeler you get your ac and heater controls you may install your music system and four people can pretty easily sit in this vehicle these are the seat covers again which are not bucket fit but you can get these installed from the maruti suzuki dealer itself so this was all about the front cabin let's move to the rear seating space of the alto 800 now on accessing the second row of this vehicle you get these conventional pull type door handles and this is how the door pad looks again what maruti suzuki has done well is that they created a contrast by offering this beige colored plastic which actually breaks the monotony of the dark interiors as well as the seat cover combination and looks quite good this is the silver finish door handle and as i had mentioned there are no rear power windows so you'll have to manually open and close your windows and this is a very basic which we have seen in very old maruti suzuki cars and this is the locking mechanism now in terms of the opening aperture and your space to enter the vehicle there is not much space and hence if you're a largely built or heavy built person you might feel some issues in terms of ingressing so now without any further ado let's just sit inside the vehicle so when you sit in the second row this is how the cabin of the alto looks and this seat has been set to my height my height is 5 feet and 10 and a half inches and this is the amount of knee room i am offered the knee room is definitely not up to the mark and that is owing to the small dimensions the compact dimensions that this car has now in terms of knee room 
you can see my knees are already touching the front seat and that is quite expected also as i've mentioned due to the compact dimensions the under the support is also definitely lacking the headrests are fixed no adjustable headrest and two passengers will be able to sit here comfortably even in terms of headroom if a 6 feet tall person sits here his hair will definitely brush against the roof and if i give a well rounded conclusion this car is not best suited for tall passengers or a spaciousness which you might be finding in a potential vehicle but definitely if you want a very very entry level vehicle with all the basic necessities for not very tall passengers if you're a family of four people or three people who are not very tall this becomes a very good option diving straight onto the rear fascia of the alto let's begin with the tail lamps so these tail lamps are halogen based again so you get halogens for all elements including your reverse lamp indicator as well as your brake lamp so these are all halogens definitely considering the price point of this vehicle no rear wiper or defogger or anything of that sort has been placed here is the high mounted brake stomp lamp and there are no roof rails on offer now if you have to open the boot unlock the boot you get the key again you have to take and use the key of the car to do that and this opens up to a 177 liter boot space you can obviously extend this boot space you can expand it by folding this seat so you can just bench fold the seat and expand the luggage area the spare wheel has been placed over here itself so here you can have a look at that too the loading lip is not high at all in fact it's almost flat so no issue in terms of practicality if you move on to the lower bumper two parking sensors have been offered as i mentioned it's a government norm so maruti had to offer these reverse parking sensors but again if you want a reverse parking camera no one stopping you you can always opt for that as an accessory <laughs> 